lovely and darling viewers, it's Jen here at Check Her Joy, and this time I'm reviewing Terrible Lizards by Jonathan Green. This is a Doctor Who book. It focuses on Amy, Rory, and the 11th Doctor, and it is definitely a children's book. <laughs> it um, seems to be geared more towards upper elementary to middle school kids, so like 7 to 12 year olds maybe. Although as an adult, I definitely still enjoyed this book, mainly because there are dinosaurs in it. Probably not a huge surprise given the T-Rex on the cover and the title Terrible Lizards. Um, but there's also some steampunk pirates in here, which are some of my favorite things. This was definitely a great, exciting, thrilling adventure book. And it's just like a fun little thing. There's not a lot of major character development, but also this is a uh, story that's happening outside like the television show. So there's never really that much character development anyway. This book definitely went quick. I mean, it's got large print. Um, it's only 166 pages and it took me roughly an hour and a half to read. Like I breezed through this book. Um, so if you're looking for a really quick but really fun Doctor Who book, this one's amazing. I can't really get too much into this book because it's so short without spoiling it. So basically what happens is that Amy, Rory, and the 11th Doctor land the TARDIS on this Victorian steamer, but it very much feels like it's pirates and it feels kind of steampunk to it, which I loved. They get surrounded and they're like, stowaways, and what are we going to do with them, Captain? And there's some uh, touchy moments there with what's going to happen. And then they find out that they're, this isn't really necessarily a pirate ship so much as it's a bunch of explorers and this expedition going to Florida to find the Fountain of Youth. And so we have this very... Um, adventuresome feel to it like it like discovery and what could be there and um you know it's florida in the 1880s it hasn't really been mapped out well there's been legends and stories the fountain of youth there's also legends of dragons being there um so it's exciting and this feel that like anything could happen and what does happen is that they run into dinosaurs so t-rexes and triceratops and stegosauruses and yes i know those are all from different time periods and this book addresses why different time periods of dinosaurs are there but i mean come on they're not supposed to be in the 1880s anyway i loved the dinosaurs and <laughs> getting to see them and like the doctor's reaction we have nods to things like the doctor talking speaking in dinosaur and translating what the t-rex is saying and um i love it there's a scene with the doctor and stegosauruses which is awesome and i can't really tell you why but it's amazing so i enjoyed it it's simple it's not a terribly complex story it's really fun to just while away a couple of hours or you know roughly an hour and a half whatever um like a good television or so episode just escape for a bit basically i really enjoyed this book and i loved it i gave it four stars just because it was so much fun um but couldn't give it the five because there's really nothing complex happening in it it very much reminded me of journey to the center of the earth with like the these scientists going down and finding dinosaurs where they're not supposed to be any. So I loved that feeling of adventure and excitement and just discovering what's out there and the world surprising you. It does have a very nice wrap up that is very Doctor Who and timey wimey and I appreciated that. Um, I liked the ending, but I definitely do not want to spoil it for you. So totally go check out Terrible Lizards by Jonathan Green. I recommend it. I also really love Doctor Who. And pretty much anything with dinosaurs and pirates was going to be one of my favorites. So this might be a little bit skewed towards exactly what I wanted to read. Exactly. So peace out. I love you guys. And keep reading. Bye.